de Milan. This will be continuation of the DBE November examination for 2023 paper two. I'll be focusing on question two, which is all about cost accounting. For the first part, I'll be working on 2.1. And these are the questions we have for 2.1. We have T to fit manufacturers. The business owned my Mac fit manufactures t-shirts. The financial year ended 28 February, 2023. We are required and we need to refer to information A to calculate the direct material cost. Let us look at information A. So this is your information A. We have stock records, raw material, which is fabric to manufacture issues. Fabric is issued from the storeroom to the factory for production. The weighted average method is used to determine the value of the fabric. We need to know that 1.2 meter of fabric is required to make one t-shirt. This is the table we've got. They gave us the stock balance on the 1st of March, 2022. That'll be the beginning of the financial year since February, the 28th of February, 2023 is the end of the financial year. Now note that 64,800 is the rent value for 1,600 meters of fabric. And we've got our purchases. Note that if you take your opening value, you add your purchases, you add your carriage inwards, you add your custom duties, you minus the returns. The amount you will get there, we say the value of the units available to be used in production but not all units that we have purchased will be used in production. And this represents units available to be used for producing t-shirts. And the value of these units will be 958,800. So to produce, basically we've got to produce t-shirts, we've got fabric, worth 20,400 meters. And the value of 20,400 meters per brick will be that 958,800. But was the whole fabric used for production of t-shirt? According to what we've got here, 1,500 of the fabric was not used. But now we don't know the value of these units that were not used. The units that were not used in production or that were not issued to production, we have to determine it according to what they gave us. And what they gave us here is that the weighted average method will be used to calculate the value of closing stock. Now that falls under inventory. Remember to value our closing stock, it's either we use first in, first out method or we use weighted average method. So for us to be able to determine the number or the value of those units of closing fabric, we need to find the weighted average cost. And to find the weighted average cost, you have to use this formula. It is basically your balance at the beginning of the year. So is the value of units at the beginning of the year. I mean, is the value of units at the beginning of the year divided by the number of units at the beginning of the year. And then you have purchases in the numerator. 
and purchases, the number of units purchased in the denominator. You minus the value of returns in the numerator divided by the number of units returned in the denominator. And then in the numerator, you'll have carriage in words and you will add your custom duties as well. Now, if you take all of these and you minus the balance at the end of the year, you will have raw materials issued to production. Now, when you take your balance at the beginning of the year, plus purchases, minus returns, plus carriage inwards, plus custom duty, we say this will be the value of units as well as the number of units that were used in production. So for us to calculate the weighted average price, I call it WEP, we are going to take units or available for use value divided by available for use units. And according to the table we've got, the value of units available for production was 958,800. And the units that were going to be used in production that are available to be used in production amounted to 20,400. So the value of units available for production divided by the number of units available for production, it will give you your web, which is your average weighted average price per unit of 47 rand. Remember, we had only 1,500 units that was not used for production. So those units are still in the warehouse. So to determine the value, we are going to take those units that were not used and multiply them by your web, which is 47 rand. It will give you 70,500. So this is the value of units that were not used to produce t-shirts. So to find the units, the value of units that we use to produce t-shirts, we are going to take all of that, which is just the value of units available for production, and then you minus the value of closing stock, which is what we've just determined, which will be 70,500. Then it will give you the value of units that will be used in production of t-shirts. And that will be 888,300. Just like that. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please let everybody know about this cool channel that will help you pass your metric with flying colors. Thank you. Hotel.